<laughs> KKK. And yes, I'm putting that out there. It's, I'm sorry for what happened to that guy getting beat up, but what can I say? Kids have nothing to do. Nothing else better to do at all. So they're going to do the first thing that comes to their mind. Violence. That's what we place our kids in front of and done it with no hesitation, period. We've taken kids and put them in front of every gangster movie we've ever watched. Look at the movies nowadays. Expendables. Uh, War of Valor. Or something of Valor. Uh, most of our video games have guns in it. Like Violence, violence, violence. The question is, is, is violence the answer? Yes, it is. Because, of course, it's, it's working right now. So you can't say that it isn't. Violence is, violence is the key to what we have right now. And I don't see anybody trying to truly prevent it. We write on Facebook and go on YouTube and talk about it, but how do you prevent the violence? You have to go and talk to these kids. But don't nobody want to talk to these kids because you're afraid of them. But then you're afraid of the kids, but then you're quick to out, go out and have kids. It, it doesn't even make sense. Something got to break the circle, yeah? Something. It's all in education, man. But what are what are we truly teaching these kids without these, you know, movies, TV? It's wonderful to watch artistry. Maybe I pursue the money. How about that? Man? <laughs> Maybe we've seen too many dollars in our day. That's all we. That's all we think we need. Maybe that's it. Pure money set. Circumstances. What else would make a kid bored? No money would make it. That made me bored as a kid. I didn't have no money. I was broke. I was bored. I was looking to beat up somebody. That's what happens. That's that's that's, that's what this life is. Be a young black man. That's 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 a young black man right there. Bored, broke, and want to fight. That's not a hate crime. Heinous, yes. Hate crime, no. They don't think. They don't think. Everybody's yeah. brainless out here. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to think about anything. Everybody wants everything given to them. So if it's given to you, you don't have to think about it. And guess what? The world doesn't work like that. No, it does. But yet, them kids don't know that because somebody didn't tell them that. Mm -hmm. Now, whose job is? to tell them information like that, I believe it comes from the parents. Now, if the parents would have got them a job, let's say delivering newspapers, that gives them something to do with, could help them make a little bit of extra cash. Or, why don't you tell your kids to find a craft that they like and actually get them to do something? Like, it's Saturday night, why aren't you doing something? Walking around the streets does not count as doing something. Like, and then plus, were y'all trying to rob the guy? If y'all were trying to rob the guy, you were trying to rob the wrong person. This guy only had a six six pack of beer. I'm pretty sure the guy in the Escalade on the 22s that just rolled past you has way more money in his pocket. And let's say you try to keep up with him. You're not gonna get it by trying to fight some some dude that's like four times your age, that's only carrying a six pack and walking home. Yeah. Doesn't make any sense, people. Really doesn't. None of this. And this is and this is the type of randomness. They're not just Ohio, Cincinnati, Ohio, North Palatine. Almost every neighborhood in America. Look around there. See what you see. All types of randoms. This is not the first time that this has ever happened. It won't be the last either. No, it will not be. I want to. I bet you, two months from now, something crazier is even gonna happen. Yeah. Yeah. Something twice as crazy as this is gonna roll through North College Hill. Because this is not even the first time I heard about this happening. 
So, I mean, if we went through all the all the history of the the news in the past two years, I'm pretty sure this happened maybe six, seven times. This even happened in Japan. My boy Philip DeFranco pointed that out. Shout out to Philip DeFranco. Uh, things go down. I mean, things what are you supposed What are you supposed to do? Meanwhile, a, a young black teen dies in Florida, and that's and that's just all cool though. Oh yeah, they got they got the nine one one call. All that, all the evidence they need. Yet the justice system seems how to be slow footed on that one. But yeah, meanwhile here in Cincinnati, Ohio, North College Hill, they about to pin six young black kids to the wall. Charge them to the full extent, of course. What message are we sending here, people? Is this America or not? That's my question to you, America. Is, is, it, is, it, is this still the America you used to know? It's not for me. Let me know what you think. Do you think that sending these kids to jail will be a better will be better for them? Like, do you think that this would be help them grow? as to how to act in society if we lock them away if you keep them restricted from the freedoms that you know of, that that they're used to knowing you take them away because they beat somebody up do you think that that's, that'll be the true thing that they need they might need therapy you never know there's a lot of people out there that need therapy Rehabilitation, you know, this also another issue we're facing with here in this situation. Even if you put them in, how long do you put them in? Where do you put them? You know, are we re are we really rehabilitating prisoners when there's more prisoners on the inside than the people on the out? It's just when America is a police state. like to hear what a lot of y'all got to say y'all can leave y'all comments or the people that know me and see me every day y'all can come talk to me about the situation anytime any place i'm glad to talk about this because this is a little off the chain for real for real you know what i'm saying people are screaming hate crime i mean based off of everything that this planet has gone through you cannot base this you cannot call this a hate crime and yes, if it did happen the opposite way, yes, it would be a hate crime. It would. Because the, the numbers tell the truth. Y'all already outweigh us to begin with. But then, when the kids act on that, that's a problem. Serious problem. It's not, yeah. apple, not apples and oranges we're talking about here. I mean, two different things. Uh, right. Let's 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 look through the long laundry list of Jim Crow laws and see how many young black men got beat up by six white men. Mm -hmm. But it's a lot more of those stories out there than it is of this one, mm -hmm. which are way more severe, way more severe. And yeah, I know a lot of y'all may hate me after this, but it's the truth. Like y'all outweigh us. Violence based off of history only comes from one direction. It all started in Spain and it came from the north. But ask the Moors.